What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lockdown Coverage. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Daniel. On today's episode, this is strictly going to be Dolphins coverage. The last time I actually did cover the Dolphins was about a week and a half ago, so I have some news to catch you guys up on. First off that I wanted to mention was the Dolphins did have two opt-outs that could hurt us this season, specifically two wide receivers, so it did diminish our wide receiver depth. Uh, the two players that did opt out is one albert wilson the wide receiver that we were anticipating to come back healthy this year would have helped us immensely in the slot but we won't have him and for depth reason we had alan hurts who was a productive wide receiver in that four spot could have stepped up if we needed him to at the two spots since preston williams was out last year so we won't have both of those wide receivers anticipate someone to step up on the depth chart Honestly, in my opinion, I think Isaiah Ford is that guy that we're looking for in the slot. He did produce at the end of last year. We actually gave him playing time and he showed up when we needed him to. We need more consistency, obviously, in the slot because we do have two good boundary wide receivers in Devontae Parker and Preston Williams. So other than that news, some other news that did break yesterday that the Dolphins will release a patch that we, they will be wearing on their jersey that will commemorate Don Shula as being one of the best coaches of all time probably the best coach in my eyes just because I'm a Dolphins fan but the patch for Don Shula will also include 347 which is the total amount of wins that he had throughout his coaching career 347 wins so that's another good thing that the Dolphins are doing but the main news that I wanted to break was that training camp video did release of you know the guy the myth the legend to attack by Loa actually throwing the football for the first time since he did get injured at Alabama. Obviously, you guys might have seen those videos that he released before the draft of him actually throwing and his hip looking mobile and healthy, but this is actually him with the Dolphins helmet on, which has got me so excited. Anything now that people see of Tua Tagovailoa is like, oh my God, he's healthy. Like, thank the Lord. But Tua Tagovailoa is our Lord and Savior for the Miami Dolphins. He is our best shot of making it back to the promised land and he's throwing the ball with velocity. He is running on the field. He is doing everything that the the other quarterbacks are doing in training camp which is good to see at this point a lot of people actually thought that he wouldn't be healthy at this point and that he wouldn't have passed his physical he did pass his physical he is throwing on the field i'm just gonna leave up this footage right here so you guys can actually just take a moment and look at how good the ball is coming out of his hands literally not gonna say anything just enjoy this loop footage no, but seriously, to attack by Loa, showing that he could throw the ball. I'm assuming they're going to put him in situations where he can learn the offense as quickly as possible. If you guys didn't see, he did have a media session with the media, the Miami Dolphins media, and he was wearing a Fitzpatrick jersey, which shows that Fitzpatrick or Fitzmagic and Tua both have a good connection in the Dolphins quarterback room and probably on and off the field. A wise old veteran that could teach the young up and coming star. I love what the Dolphins are doing connection wise with the Miami Dolphins quarterback room and the Dolphins as a whole. Other than those two key wide receiver spots that did opt out, I think the Dolphins are in good position to succeed this season and I hope they do. Hopefully that the Corona bug doesn't hit as bad as other teams, but Tua throwing the ball looks great and again i'm going to mention this just because this is such little news to some that aren't dolphins fans but i know that you guys that are fans seeing him throw the ball is just immaculate all you want to see is to make sure that he's healthy and you don't want to throw him behind an offensive line that isn't healthy again there isn't any preseason games this year to actually show what he looks like on the field so the only time we might be seeing him this year is when he comes out on the field to be the first start of his career or to come off the bench halfway through a game and fitzpatrick is struggling but again i don't want to throw him into the fire unless he knows everything about the offense and the offensive line is producing well enough so he's not going to get sacked eight times a game because you don't want that to happen to your franchise quarterback so those are mainly the key points i wanted to mention with the dolphins video so if you guys like this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe i really appreciate you guys i I'm actually gonna leave this loop here. Um, I'm just gonna leave it here. You guys can enjoy the loop. I'm gonna leave it and play it for four more times just to show you that our quarterback of the future is finally throwing. Thanks for watching, guys.